Okay, let's see. I think I'm out of poets, so... Josh, you want to read something? Yeah, let's bring Josh up. All righty. Well, let's see. Uh, well, it's a small entourage, an entouragelet. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Trains make love. Lying in bed, my apartment next to the tracks. Listening to the trains make love. Bam! Crash! Scree! Kaboom! They are not subtle about it though it is always in the dark and behind the fence. Maybe they think I can't hear them. Maybe they can't help themselves. Oh, to be a freewheeling train slamming together in the dark with some gaudy boxcar or elegant tanker. Bam, crash, but less metallic and without the screeching brakes. Oh, yeah, this is one of my faves. Tai Chi in snowshoes. Tai Chi in snowshoes comes on when my flaming arrows do not fire, when too many ball bearings escape from my skateboard, when my fragile flower storms delicately through the thoughtless concrete to find itself in a pile of dog poo. In these bleak moments, underscored with the thin gray laughter of the cosmically humorous, I feel a need to collapse and simultaneously feel that all movement has intonations of order. So this flamed out wobbly flower becomes Tai Chi in snowshoes and I move into the ordered movements as if for the first time. Tai Chi in snowshoes, there is no snow, there are no snowshoes. There's not even any winter. There's only Tai Chi. I'll get to the Egdesius limericks here in just a second. Okay, this is uh, Stop Writing Poetry. <clears throat> Stop writing poetry! Stop it! These scribbles on screens and sheets of crushed trees merely indicate the oscillation of air flowing past a particular piece of meat in the throat. Words say nothing. They are not the thing or the idea. We are the idea of light. We are the hand that sings. We are the spirit of flight, the thing of things, running to arrive at where we already are. But in order to arrive, the journey must be made. There is no forward without a path, no words without breath, nor steps without feet. Breathe, make pathways, walk, travel wide, and write more poems. Okay, I started off with uh, this group with my Ecdesius poems. Ecdesius, I just love this. Ecdesis is a Latin word meaning the removing of an outer covering, like when a, shake, a snake sheds its skin, it's ecdesis, right? So an ecdesiast is a stripper. <laughs> it's like something W.C. Fields is, oh, yes, an ecdesiast, one of my favorite pastimes, yes. Okay, <clears throat> ecdesiast limericks. There once was a lazy ecdesiast who thought that her job was the easiest. She'd take off her clothes and thereby expose herself to the men who were sleaziest. There once was a happy ecdesiast whose job made her mom feel the queasiest. But mom, she'd explain, it causes no pain, and the tips that I get are the easiest. Oh, and my friend um, who was an ecdesiast broke her ankle, so she had a cast on. An ecdesiast sporting a cast could not shed her clothes all that fast. She'd rip and she'd tear and try to get bare and leave the poor patrons aghast. There once was a dirty ecdesiast whose armpits were known as the cheesiest. Said the boss of the club, if she won't use the tub, she can dance by the door where it's breeziest. <clears throat> and my personal favorite, with a head cold, the sick young ecdesiast soon found that her act was the sneeziest. She made her at shoes wearing only her shoes, but her tips from that night were the measliest. 
Okay, I'll turn this over to whomever else wants to do. You know, Let's see if I have one more just for kicks. One more, one more, one more. Oh, did I do final exam yesterday? Oh, okay. Well, new crowd. <laughs> final exam. We have taken the last million years and compressed them down into this little movie. Running time, 1 minute 26 seconds. Let's take a look. There, that didn't take too long. Leaves one a little dizzy, eh? Now, did you see yourself? I thought not. Your country? Not even a fleeting glimpse. How about your religion? Your job? Your politics? That wonderful drive in the mountains that reconciled the two of you to the bone before your next stumble. Yes, that one does stand out. Do you remember your next breath? The first moment of every awakening. The moment between moments. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll have to go back and take the course over. Take better notes this time. It helps. See you at the next final exam. And now, Steve Blue. Wow. Thank you so much, Joshua Mertz. Let's give him another round of applause. Thank you all for being here at the Poetry Stage. Uh, before I bring up our next reader, let me make a couple of uh, announcements that are necessary. Because we have sponsors that help to make this happen, so I'm going to thank some of them right now. Uh, I would like to thank Aero Cloud Press, our main sponsor. United Rentals, who donated the generator, making it all for all weekend they donated it to make this sound system possible. Tsunami Books, Sundance Natural Foods, Capella Market, Baja Fresh, New Zone Gallery, Sweet Life, Starbucks, Trader Joe's, Bijou Metro, Metro Theaters. Now, a lot of these uh, sponsors donated uh, raffle prizes for our raffle drawing, so there's some great prizes over there. This is a completely um, donation raffle, which means any donation will get you entered in the drawing. And uh, there's some great prizes, and you'll be helping a wonderful local cause, the OSLP Arts and Culture Program. And we will have multiple drawings every day. At the end of the day, you don't need to be here to win, but you gotta fill out the form uh, to get the prizes and there's going to be multiple prizes in each drawing so there's great prizes just make a donation help a wonderful cause okay